The worst riots the United Kingdom has seen in years. Fueled by false information spread online. Rumors claiming a Muslim asylum seeker is the one responsible for a mass stabbing that left three children dead and several more injured at a Taylor Swift themed event. The suspect, however, is a 17-year-old UK citizen born in Wales to Rwandan parents. The head of police now threatening extradition and jail time to U.S. citizens for online posts allegedly egging on the violence from afar. If you're a keyboard warrior, you're not safe from the law if you incite violence. Giving this response when a Sky News reporter asked about the controversial comments made by the riots on X by Elon Musk. We will throw the false force of the law at people. And whether you're in this country committing crimes on the streets or committing crimes from further afield online, we will come after you. UK authorities have already arrested their own citizens for online activity. For example, a 55-year-old woman was arrested for publishing written material to stir up racial hatred and false communication. Two other British men also arrested for social media posts. The Prime Minister sending this warning. I guarantee you will regret taking part in this disorder, whether directly or those whipping up this action online. We spoke with Aaron Turr with the Foundation for Individual Rights and Expression. The government absolutely should arrest and prosecute anyone engaged in political violence. But in times of unrest, governments have a tendency to overreach and to undermine civil liberties like freedom of speech in the name of public safety. UK laws surrounding free speech are different than those here in the US. And while it's not impossible, it's highly unlikely British authorities will go after US based social media posters like Elon Musk for violating British laws in an online space. I'm Kayla Gaskins reporting.